Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Diana. This is Marcus Talkers. We aim to provide knowledge to the independent trading community, cutting through the nonsense of get rich quick schemes. Today we'll have a look at the notorious Donchian channels, made popular by a trading group known as the Turtle Traders. They were coached by two successful traders called Richard Dennis and William Eckhart. Let's begin. One thing to note about the turtle traders is that although in the articles you will find information that the 21 traders were ordinary people with no prior trading experience, but these 21 people were anything but ordinary. Among them they selected a blackjack master, a former pianist, a US Air Force pilot. You know, it's true that neither of the individuals chosen had any prior trading or financial experience, but you know, to claim that they were ordinary is very far-fetched and misleading. Trading consistently over years and years requires a huge amount of self-discipline, effort, speed of brain processing power and thousands of hours of practice to get right. So as long as you keep that in mind, let's have a look at the Donchian channels, what they are and how they're used. Donchian channels are primarily used for trend following. Donchian channel represents the highest price and the lowest price for n number of periods. I'm using days. This is a daily chart. I also have this indicator set to 10, which gives you that two week range. A basic turtle trading rule stated that when the price moves above the high of the previous two weeks, you would buy. If the opposite happens, the price breaks the previous two week low, you would cover your long positions and go short. The turtles also had a strict position size rules of no more than 2% per position. At the time it was swing trading at its finest. Swing trading is a low frequency trading style where you're only really supposed to have two to three trades a month, if that. And that's why it's safe to use a slightly larger position of 2% for those medium term swings. If you were to use 2% per trade for intraday and you do like two to three trades a day, that's crazy. <laughs> now the good point about the turtles was that if you happen to catch a nice move in either direction, in theory this approach would allow you to bank a very nice profit. The burning question on everyone's mind is do Donchian channels still work? The answer is yes, sort of, but you would need to focus on very particular asset classes and particular products. You see, back in the 70s and early 80s, the markets had some incredible momentums across the board in almost all asset classes. So it was quite easy to, you know, find the trend, jump in and hold the trade for several weeks. But in 1986, this changed. The market started shifting from open outcry to electronic trading. This was first implemented on the London Stock Exchange and as a result London became one of the strongest financial capitals in the world. Unfortunately there was a dark side of electronic trading which culminated with a market crash of 2008. However, there were still a few asset classes that had some really good trending weeks and months like certain forex cross pairs, in particular yen, New Zealand and Aussie cross pairs. This carried on until about 2013. But after that, most of the central banks around the world started lowering their country's interest rates in an attempt to boost their economy's post credit crunch. And that caused an even further lack of long lasting momentums. The prices started to change almost every single day, making the markets nearly impossible for any swing traders. Even equity indices that had an artificial push upwards caused by the aggressive quantitative easing, it still wasn't quite enough to bring back the old momentum. Instead, what happened was that the daily ranges were vastly reduced. And you know, there was a definite trend in place but you had these kind of moments with a lot of neutral candles, neutral wicks, up and down, up and down, but overall it wasn't an uptrend. But unfortunately this is very, very difficult to trade in practice. There were a few back tests kicking around that used the turtle trading rules for the algorithms. And uh, those back tests show a drastic drop in performance. So as a comparison during the 70s all the way up to 1986, the turtle trading system had returns of like over 200%. But the period from 1986 all the way to 2009 only returns about 10% on equity indices. 
The performance came back somewhat in 2004 and managed to generate a return of about 20-30% for the next decade or so. But it had a very sizable drawdown of up to 40%, so not that great. It's worth mentioning that the turtles actually had a relatively low accuracy. Most of their trades were somewhere in the ballpark of about 30-40% accuracy, but the big secret was their target expectations. Their R multiples frequently went from about 8 to 30 times profit on initial investment. And this combination of you know, low accuracy with very high uh, R multiples, it meant that statistically, even if you get things right only 20% of the time, you would still have a lot of profit. But psychologically, it's extremely tough to trade on 20% accuracy, especially if you're looking at a best case scenario of only 20% return over an entire decade. That's an average of 2% per year. Again, not that great. The only asset class where the turtle trading strategy still works is the cryptocurrencies, most notably Bitcoin and Ethereum. It also has a very decent result on certain high growth single stocks. Cryptocurrencies can be quiet for extended periods of time, but you know, when they're trending, they're trending. <laughs> the price will move to significantly different areas with quite some force rather than kind of dick around in 10 to 30 point range for weeks on end slowly creeping upwards. So the best use for Donchian channels would be a relatively simple strategy with some rigid rules of entry and exits, aiming to keep trades for several weeks up to several months. Don't try to use this for intraday trading and, you know, hyper scalping on 30 second time frame. If you're looking to develop your skills to the intraday mastery, then you have to get familiar with market profile and order flow. And we put the training program out there because we're expanding our own trading department. We want to grow our own turtles or reformed grasshoppers, as I like to call our traders. And we already have quite a few people in the Grasshoppers Anonymous support group where we talk about the days when we traumatized ourselves by trading like Muppets. Hopping from trade to trade, system to system, indicator to indicator, until we all finally found order flow and market mechanics. For intraday trading, there is no substitute to learning real market mechanics. And market mechanics is not technical analysis. Instead, it's a skill of reading the market developments in real time, rather than trying to predict an intraday move using like a crystal ball or a stellar constellation. And it's very much like playing football or basketball. You have top athletes who are able to constantly assess and reassess the situation and then work very quickly to adapt to the developing environment, processing all the possible outcomes using the information around them that you know constantly keeps refreshing it keeps changing and that's the part that takes the longest to develop but if you're someone who already has these skills someone who is already used to functioning in high pressure environments where you have to think super quick to find a solution then learning to trade intraday will be ever so slightly easier for you not easy but easier and just like top athletes, they don't get there just by themselves doing the same mistakes over and over. They work with a coach who can tell them in real time, during practice in a safe environment, how to minimize their weaknesses, what their weaknesses are, and how to maximize their individual strengths. Because we're all different. Having the support of me and one of my coaches, who are not only funded active traders themselves, but also people who have gone through all the same problems that you have right now, is invaluable. And it cuts the learning time down from several years to several months. Because you can take our experience of the stuff that we've messed up, and then we've corrected and we know what works, we know what doesn't work. Learning to trade properly and to trade well is as much a journey of self-discovery as it is a journey to more resources and an additional source of income. Instead of bumbling around by yourself, our program goes well beyond just teaching order flow concepts. I give you a clear risk model to follow to ensure that the setups you're taking will fit into that whole risk management puzzle that is not just positioning or you know risk per trade or you know data loss limit it actually has several important components to it and if you mess up one or several you skew the entire risk model so even though your strategy might be valid and you might be a very decent trader there might be a piece of the puzzle that's missing so we can help you find that we can help you pinpoint where you're going wrong and then we work with you to develop consistency we're one of the most ethically priced and highly structured order flow programs around with many funded former grasshoppers <laughs> all working for various prop firms and we're just getting started check out the links below thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe for the youtube algorithm and i will see you next time